The Greenland ice sheet is the second largest body of ice in the world after Antarctica. Rising temperatures driven by climate change mean it's melting. Now scientists have managed to quantify how much and how fast, providing the most complete picture available to date, and it's a worrying one. Since 1992, Greenland has lost 3.8 trillion tonnes of ice, enough to raise global sea levels by 10.6 millimetres. And the rate of ice loss is speeding up too, from 33 billion tonnes per year in the 1990s to 254 billion tonnes per year at the moment. That's a seven-fold increase within the last three decades. It's estimated that sea level rise will bring a million people in the UK into annual floods by the end of the century. But the estimates for sea level rise are, are, are on the lower side. They're underestimates. We can see, see that from the results that we've shown today. Greenland is losing ice faster than expected. Um, we, we expect that to lead to another 40 or 50,000 people um, experiencing flooding. All over the world, the effects of rising seas are already being felt. Coastal communities, even in the UK, becoming more vulnerable to storm surges and extreme weather events. The devastation in the Bahamas after Hurricane Dorian, another example of what can happen to low-lying island nations. The only way to truly limit further sea level rises is to limit global warming by drastically reducing the amount of greenhouse gases we emit. But scientists warn that no matter what we do, the slow process of melting ice will continue for decades to come, a constant and evolving threat on a planet increasingly strained by the effects of climate change. Hannah Thomas-Peter, Sky News.